Hey guys, what's up? If you're new to the channel and you're a diehard 76 fan just like myself, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all news and rumors surrounding your Philadelphia 76ers. And what you're about to see is me reacting to the most delusional 76ers fan that I've ever came across on YouTube. Him begging the 76ers to get LeBron James. It's crazy. It's hilarious. Enjoy the video. MK out. So, this guy right here, right, I was planning on making a video, okay, I was planning on making an actual react reaction video, but then technical difficulties and all that, so, here we go. LeBron James, come to the Philadelphia 76ers, please. This is hilarious. This guy's just begging for LeBron James. Begging. Begging. You ready? I was thinking for vibing with me. Philadelphia 76ers fans, what is your opinion on this? I need your opinion. Should we go after LeBron James? No. We should not go after LeBron James at all. No. Even at his age, he is still top 10 in the NBA, in my opinion. Get to the Western Conference Finals. There's rumors going around that we're, we just interviewed his uh, former coach, we Frank Vogel. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Did I hear that correctly? I think that's how you remember this was before we got Nick Nurse. Vogel, I think that's how you Vogel. say his name. And they won a championship when they had the bubble. Vogel. So he that could possibly be put two and two together. I'm not saying that's what's going on. I'm just saying you put two and two together, that might be a possibility. But LeBron James, if he comes to Philadelphia, he would instantly bring that winning culture that we need. He will bring that leadership to Joel B, Tyrese Maxey, to the whole squad. We haven't been... You're not wrong. You're not wrong there. And to a final since 2001. And we haven't won since 1983. I think LeBron James is still talented enough to give us that the best chance right now. I oh, my living God. I don't know which... What trade pieces we have to offer to the Lakers to even make this realistic? But what is your opinion, Seven Sister fans? Is that something you would want? No, no. Even just forget the age. Just look at his game. Look at forget what the hell, like. he's producing on the court. You know what I'm saying? You could be the youngest player in the world, 22 years old, and don't not even come close to what LeBron James is doing right now. People would dream to play as good as LeBron James right now at eight. No shit, Sherlock. No shit. Hey, AK, what is up, man? What is up? How you doing, bro? How you doing? Just watching a, a Sixers fan begging for LeBron James here. So, well, correct. Yes, correct. Eagles fans everywhere. Yep. The Sixers have, yep, just like the Dow. Yep, we're basically like the Dallas Cowboys. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But this is honestly ridiculous. Just keep watching, guys. Keep watching. He's 38. He's a four-time champion, man. Four-time MVP. LeBron James, come to Philly, man. Play with a two-time scoring champ, Joel Embiid. Play with a one-time MVP, Joel Embiid. Play with him. Teach him how to, teach him how to win. Come on, man. I don't see – he hasn't played with a, a center this great before. That's okay, let's talk about that. He has not played with the center this great before. Okay, okay. He played with the old Shaquille O'Neal. Tristan Thompson, who I think is underrated. Um, hmm. It was Skalskis. You remember him? That guy could shoot. Um. They're not as good as the one beat. I'm just naming the centers that he did play with. Anthony Davis, when he was at center, like, you got Anthony Davis there. You have washed up Dwight Howard. You got Deontay Jordan for a bit, I think, right? So, he has played with some good centers. He has. Yeah. What's the real MVP? Yeah, let's not get into that. Yeah, let's not get into that. It's in his prime. 
He hasn't played with a center this great before that's in his prime. And I think if LeBron James comes to Philly and wins a championship in Philly, a debate is over. He is the GOAT in my eyes. Okay. So if he's not the GOAT now, who's your GOAT then? Michael Jordan? He is the GOAT in my eyes. I think that, yes, I'm taking a nature walk. So, you know what I mean? When you get a chance, take a nature walk, get some exercise. It's good for your body. But, yeah, let's go Sixers. And I feel like if LeBron James came to Philly and won, he would be the GOAT. I'm going to keep saying that because he needs to realize how we're starving for a championship, LeBron James. We are absolutely starving for a championship. We are hungry for a championship. We are. But to beg LeBron James, that's where I draw the line. We are desperate for a championship. We are tired of losing in the second round. We are tired of losing in general. We have so much talent. We messed up so many picks. Markel Foles, Ben Simmons. We messed up so Don't go into that. Many picks. Well, we could have had Jason Tatum. We could have had Brandon Ingram. We could have had Jalen Brown. We messed up, man. But everything could be right if we get the right player to put us over the top. And you are the missing piece, LeBron James. Is it really the missing piece? I mean, look at all the benches. Look at the bench players. Like, come on, we don't need that. MJ's the real go and a discussion. LeBron James is not the go either way. You're not wrong there. Not wrong. It's your opinion. Zaire Smith, don't even get me started. You are the missing piece. That we have been, that we've been waiting for. You've been, we've been waiting for a player like you, man. You might not be in your prime, but you're still great. You're one of the greatest all time. Debatably, the greatest all time. All time. I think it's Michael Jordan, but if you win in Philly, you are the greatest of all time, in my opinion. <laughs> so the only way he can become the goat. If he comes to Philly with there's no chance at all and win a championship where there's like slim to none. So that's the only way he'll be the GOAT. You are the greatest of all time, in my opinion. All time. I think it's Michael Jordan. But if you win in Philly, you are the greatest of all time, in my opinion. <laughs> so come to Philly, LeBron James. I need all the Philadelphia 76ers fans to let me know what you think. Do you think LeBron James should be in a Philadelphia uniform. I need y'all to let oh. me know. Do you think he would give us a great chance to win? And what pieces can we realistically give to the Lakers that they will actually take? We're not getting rid of Tyrese. We're not getting rid of LeBron, I mean, uh, Joel and B. So, okay. You just said it right there. We're not getting rid of Tyrese. We're not getting rid of MB. So what would they want? What would they want? And then he's got a one year and then another year player option. So you're, oh my God, that contract's insane. Like, no. We're trying to get younger here. The Sixers team is trying to get younger. That is why I don't want Chris Paul. Chris Paul is getting up there. We're trying to get more athletic, right? Now we're Nick Nurse. We got Jalen McDaniels who get more playing time. We got Daniel House who we just picked up a $4.3 million player option. And then we got Paul Reed. And I feel like Paul Reed should really be the backup center. So, for me, honestly, no. Hell no. What can we do? Is there some second-round picks hey, that we coach, have to give up our future, up? future, future first? Uh, some um, Tobias Harris and because he is an expiring contract. Like, would that be good enough? And some second-round picks and maybe Jaden Springer. Would that be good enough for the late? We're not giving up Jaden Springer. Oh, my God. Don't tell me I just heard that. I forgot that they switched in the video. Let me back up a little bit. And because he is an expiring contract, like would that be good enough? So we wouldn't have to give up Tobias Harris. We wouldn't have to give up Tobias Harris there, which I'm fine with. But come on, bro, we're not getting LeBron James. This is just hysterical at this point. Up and some second round picks and maybe Jaden Springer. Would that be good enough it's for the Lakers life, to go through with the trade? Because they're trying to rebuild. What what do you think? Because the Western Conference is stacked. I don't believe the Lakers are gonna get through it unless they make some changes. Maybe they trade Anthony Davis. And um 
I think he comes in east. The east is a uh, east is kind of is strong too, but I think the west is still stronger in my opinion. I think the west is a little bit strong. Not by a li- is the west here. Let me ask you guys this: Is the west a little bit stronger than the east? Is it a little bit stronger? Let's see. Let's break it down. Uh, we got Denver, who's pretty much winning the whole goddamn thing now. Let's be honest. You got Phoenix. You got... All right, I'm, I don't think so, bro. West is weird. I agree with you, Arku. The West is weird. But for me, honestly, it's not close. I don't feel like it's close. I don't. By a lot. Not by a lot. But LeBron could put us over the top, even at his age, at 38. Isn't that amazing? He got swept. He got swept. He got swept. What are you talking about, bro? He got swept. He won't put us over the top. What you put in your body and exercise to keep you running and looking young and just. Yeah, LeBron James puts a million dollars on his body every single year. Insane. Moving like he moves, man. He's still dunking on people. You know what I mean? He's still doing step back fadeaways on people. He's still facilitating like he was in his mid-20s. You know what I'm saying? He's smarter now. He knows how to win. After going to the. Knows how to win and he got swept. Okay. He and learning how to win from D Wade, he knows how to win now. Just learning how to win from D Wade, he knows how to win now. Now at age thirty eight. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like we can do we can we can do some amazing things if we get the right player and LeBron. Come on, LeBron. Wait, here it is. Come to Philly, baby. Come to the Philadelphia 76ers. Come on, dude. We can, we can do Thank some you, amazing boy. things if we get the right player. And LeBron. Come on, LeBron. Come to Philly, baby. Come to the Philadelphia 76ers. We need you, man. Like and subscribe if you're a Philadelphia 76er fan. Let me know in the comments. Am I crazy for thinking this? Yo, LeBron. Crazy for thinking this is an understatement. LeBron James, man, if you get this message, man. Okay, LeBron James gets this message. LeBron James gets this message. I am done. I am done.